Hi everyone, it's Karen again from Art Club. Welcome to the second ever Art Club online tutorial. This week we're going to be raising a project on Modigliani. He's an Italian artist and I apologise for my pronunciation if it's wrong. Um, he, uh, he actually died young, uh, 35 years old, and he wasn't famous. His art wasn't particularly popular actually until after his death. But he's very, very well known for his portraits that he did. He's got quite an unusual style. I've got a few here, but please, like last week, look online, have a check out of his work, and um, if you can see that. But he was very, very famous for his very long, long faces with long noses, long new noses, almond eyes, and, uh, and small lips. So what we're going to be doing is probably a picture, if we base it, on your mum and dad, and we'll do it in a Mogliviani, Modigliani style. Okay, let's go. All we need for this week's session is preferably watercolour paper, if not the thickest kind of paper that you have, really. Um, but the good thing about watercolour paper is it absorbs water very well, so it carries the pigment of the paint very well. So you need one sheet of that, you need a pencil like last week, rubber like last week, a brush, uh, water, well it doesn't matter about the type of brush, but probably one with a point which is easier, water and some watercolours. I've used the one that we always use in Art Club, so we've got uh, an array of colours, but you can get away with using only a few colours, it's fine this week. We start with our paper and our pencil. You're going to draw the face, try to fill up well, a good half of the sheet or just over half a sheet. You're going to be drawing U-shape like this. Okay, you can put two ears on like that. You're going to be putting hair, so you can base it on, um, I'm going to base it on, I don't know, uh, let's see, my, my, say my mum or maybe a young mum, maybe a young mum, because I'm going to put a bit of a ponytail or something like that. So once you've got your basic shape, you put your hair on. It can be any hair. It can be your dad if you want. You can make it a little bit squarer face, but uh, a little bit different hair, short hair. So once I've done that, I can then, you put on your neck. Don't put your neck too, um, too narrow. Make it slightly thicker and long. And then I'm going to be putting kind of uh, a v-neck um, for a shirt and then put my shoulders in like that. If you don't want to put a v-neck you could you could make it more of a round neck shirt and uh, if you wanted to make her hair different maybe you could bring it down like that and like that. It doesn't really matter. Or if you wanted to do a man's hair Maybe, <clears throat> let me just take out these, maybe just do short hair, like, I don't know, like that, like that, okay, but you can do it as you want, okay, I'm going to put it back to being the woman that I wanted here, so put a ponytail out here, so that's it, then the next thing you're going to do is put your nose in. Now the face is very long and thin as you see. The nose is going to be long, thin too. Okay, you can make it that shape. You could make it U shape or more of a square shape if you wanted. Okay, then your eyes are almond shaped eyes. So, like that, okay. And to do the math, it doesn't matter if everything's a little bit wonky. Actually, I quite like it when it's a little bit wonky. I'm going to just slightly make her nose a little bit wonky. Like that, okay? Her lips, what I'm going to do is just put a line like that across and then make a little bit of an M shape and um, like a half a circle underneath. So that's the basic drawing there. And now it's about painting. The only thing you could do is add a little bit of interest in the background, uh, maybe put a line in here which could be a door in the background, maybe a bit of a floor here that's coming across like that. Okay, so that's it and it's all about painting now. 
So you just paint as you want to paint, fill it in as you want. I will start with her hair. I'm going to choose my brown here. And with the watercolour, you can just go in. Oh, I did forget, don't, don't forget to um, add the ears. I added the ears, but I didn't really say what I was doing. So, and then you're just going to paint it in with watercolour. As you all know, you use lots of water with your watercolour paint. Spread it evenly over the surface, okay? You don't have to be too neat. It doesn't have to be too great. Just fill it in as you want. And your shades can be slightly dark on one side. You could use more concentrated colour if you wanted. Let the water carry it like that. Okay. And the same goes for her face. So with her face, I haven't actually got a, um, a skin tone here. So what I might do is add a tiny bit of red to my um, um, a beigey colour shade there and then colour it in. Like that. So it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to go all the way over her nose, like that. But I am going to leave. Oh, the other thing I haven't put in, which you might do just before you start, are your eyebrows. Okay, sorry, I just should have put those in before. But okay, so just going to get my skin colour again, go around here. As I say, you don't have to be too neat. I actually like it almost when it's not not painted completely um, uh, um, carefully, like that, and then the neck the same. I don't think whether she's in her. Okay. Then choose your colour for your. <clears throat> Choose your colour for your shirt. Maybe I'll just put some green in here. Lots of water, always lots of water. Like that. You could put some details if you wanted. You, uh, you could have put buttons down the front or, I don't know, different areas of different colours. Or blotch your shirt if you want a bit of colour. Okay. Then you need to colour in the lip. Now, don't worry if if your paint smudges a little bit into the skin colour. It doesn't matter. I actually don't mind that at all if it smudges out. And the eyes the same. Now, the eyes are really funny because Mogdigliani doesn't seem to put any pupils in his eyes. He just paints the space. So that's all I'm going to do, paint the space. Like that on that side. Like that on that side. Okay, and I'm going to add the eyebrows as well, a little bit of colour, like that. So once you've done the main part of the body then, you can then decide how to paint the background. I might use some greys in here, paint this area in grey. I am doing this quickly, of course you guys can take it much slower. But watercolour allows you um, lots of leeway really. Okay, so maybe I'll put this brown in here, like that. This is quick. And maybe I will get a blue in the background here. And you can use much stronger colours than this. It, you could go over a second time, over the top to give you a bit more depth in your colour. So. that what you have to do now is wait for it to dry so when your pictures dry all you're going to take is like a um, like a biro um, a pen and you're just going to go over all the pencil lines with black pen so you can just 
You could have a fine liner, let's say you could have a fine line, and you just go around like that, just to bring it out a little bit. Into the pants. bring all the details out a little bit so you can see them a little bit more clearly. Almond eyes, the long, long nose, and the small lips, eyebrows here. Hope you have a lovely time painting perhaps a picture of your mum or dad. And that's kind of done actually. So, other pictures that we've done, very similar, just like that, a bit of a weird man, that was that, different style, and actually, if you just go online and have a look at his regular portraits, they are a unique style to him, long faces, long necks, neck there. Uh, you could do the shirt a bit more detailed and usually there's detail in the background so that's got a door, floor, there's a little bit of a line there, a little bit of a corner of a room there um, and all the eyes you can see are almost empty eyes, it doesn't seem to be any detail in there at all. Long hook nose and the eyebrows. Okay good luck. His name is Modigliani and send me any pictures that you have done so I can pop them on my Instagram site. I did that at Art Club. One thing I forgot to mention is if you don't have any watercolours, um, I was going to give you an alternative and all I've done is soaked some tea in some hot water, Ve only a very small, um, maybe a tea bag in a very small amount of water. And then you can just colour it in, colour in your picture um, with the tea. I think that should be that should be fine and maybe if you just wanted to use colored pencils you could color in the eyes and make sure to use the um, the, the biro or uh, fine liner once the picture is dry to go over um, you need to have very concentrated tea so obviously the um, more concentrated the darker the darker it is you can go over it a few times to get a darker shade you can cover in with tea.